Okay, we're going over the points of performance for the squat, and we're gonna show uh, several variations of the squat, but first we're gonna talk about what's happening at each body part. So when we're moving down in a squat, starting at the torso, we're looking at this relationship between the hips and the shoulders to stay consistent. So as we move up and down, we're gonna go ahead and drop straight down into the position by keeping the shoulders and hips uh, in a similar relationship throughout the pattern. You'll see here at the knee, we're letting the knee travel forward to make room for the hips to move straight up and down. So the knees should actually travel forward um, in our squat variation. Okay, you can see that there's the space is closed behind the knee. Now, we can stand back up. You can note we're also using what's called a heel wedge or an elevation. And we're using this to allow for a more vertical squat. So we want to think about being an elevator, like we're moving straight up and down when we're moving in positions like this. The second thing in this variation, this is called a goblet squat press out. And really what we find is anytime we have a weight out in front of our body, it allows us to maintain a little bit more vertical uh, movement in this pattern because it's a counterbalance that allows our body to sit back and travel straight up and down, okay? So big things here in the squat, our torso angle and position is staying relatively consistent throughout the movement. Our hips are moving straight down. Our knees are traveling forward. And sometimes when we have that ankle range of motion, you can stand up, Corey. Sometimes when we have that limitation in our ankle or knee, the heel wedge can be really helpful, okay? And this is a proper heel wedge, but you can also use plates to help elevate your heels or books as well at home. Okay, so next we'll demonstrate the goblet squat. And this is going to be used with a dumbbell or a kettlebell or also a plate. And what you'll see here, the heavier the weight is, the closer it should be at our chest. Okay, so we'll go two reps with the weight uh, against our chest here for support. Great. and then. A lighter weight we can generally hold actually out in front of our body. Uh, you can see there that his elbows are actually away from his body when he's performing this variation. Okay, great. And the last variations that we'll show are the barbell front squat. You'll see this generally in your program. Uh, a few ways to hold it. This is the proper way to hold the bar, uh, which requires a lot of range of motion in the wrist and elbows. Now. If this is uncomfortable, we can also cross our arms in this position to let the bar rest on the shoulder. So go ahead and show um, uh, two reps of this front squat. Great, and you can see the same things apply throughout the movement in the goblet squat and goblet squat press out. And the last variation that we'll show is actually the barbell back squat. In this variation, what we're gonna see is that there's maybe a slight torso angle forward in this, and that's totally okay because the weight is placed on the back, which will change the mechanics of the squat. So generally, when we back squat, there'll be a little bit more forward torso angle compared to the front-loaded variations like the front squat, goblet squat, and goblet squat press out. These are the points of performance of the squat.